Um, uh, thank you, uh, CC, ArtsLink, and uh, Simon and Maxim uh, for inviting me. So I have nothing to do this year with the ArtsLink. Um, um, I thought... You did one year with the Arts in Europe for us. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did, uh, and um, um, actually, I think one one of the reasons why I'm here is that uh, I have done Arts Link twice, and um, uh, I'm from Estonia, uh, running uh, uh, or oh, I'm the artistic director of uh, Balto Scandal Festival, but that's not my ma main job. Uh, um, uh, that's more the foreigners know I do. Um, actually, I'm, I'm running a, um, um, a space, a theatre, performing arts centre, very small though, but very active, Kanuti Gildi Saal, and um, let's see, first time I came here with ArtsLink was 1995, this is how New York looked like, 1995. Yeah, it almost looks looks the same. Um, uh, contemporary art was um, in the front line also back then. This is the cover of uh, the New Yorker. It's the artist is Anita Kunz. Um, as you as you see, not much have changed. Uh, also, the um, you you recognize the place. Uh, it's uh, uh, photographer Tom O'Connor. Um, and so this all was in um, 90, um, 1995. Um, you can you can just imagine um, um, what what a person coming from a, um, uh, from a Soviet uh, Soviet ruled country. Um, and not Soviet Union country, like uh, let's say there are many countries who are Soviet Union, but where the Soviet time ended just some um, years ago, before it. Um, it ended 91, so it only took four years after that uh, um, uh, when, I, uh, when I came here. And why I came here was that in 1992 we um, we started to work in uh, in Estonia, in Tallinn, with um, with the idea that um, contemporary dance, contemporary dance especially, was sort of non-existing um, non-existing art form in um, uh, Soviet time. If somebody would call um, uh, even 91 or 92 to the Ministry of Culture in Estonia and ask something about contemporary dance or modern dance, back then it was called more modern dance then the answer would be that th we don't have modern dance. <laughs> mm, uh, and uh, so we, we started with a couple of friends to organize a thing called um, a Dance Information Center in Estonia in 92. And the main, and really the main idea was um, to just spread information uh, about it. 92, no internet, yeah, facts. Fax was the, uh, the the communication and phone uh, phones, so um, the only idea was that really to get contacts to that somebody would send you a dance magazine uh, from different countries and you could uh, pick up from there something and then uh, translate it and put uh, make your own sort of flyers or, or some kind of things. Uh, very soon we after that we. Um, we we started to do um, um, uh, organize um, workshops for the um, for the dancers because the the country was full of dancers they were all folk ballet and so on so but not uh, not obviously not modern or or, or contemporary uh, in ninety two something has started to change because uh, Tallinn is only eighty six kilometers away from. Helsinki, Finland, and um, and there the local TV started to sh show uh, performances. I don't know by Elvin Neely, uh, Maurice Bejar, and so on and so on. So some people already started to know um, uh, what is it. I was chosen. 
I don't know why, uh, uh, to be the Arsling Fellow and come here to New York um, to be in a residency or organizing residency because uh, by no means I'm a choreographer or, or dancer. Um, I was just interested and very fascinated about the, uh, the new, for me, um, the mu new and very progressive um, uh, art form as modern or contemporary dance back then was. I was hosted here in New York by um, American Dance Festival and legendary Charles and uh, Stephanie Reinhardt. And uh, those who know um, them uh, uh, obviously also understand that I, 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 got, um, I got free tickets to absolutely everything, what's, what was going on. All sold out performances, everything, everything, but uh, uh, because I had so um, so good friends, uh, I got um, mm, everywhere in everywhere. So imagine then that you are here in New York, um, where where uh, artists like um, I don't know Mark Dandy, Elizabeth Streep, Paul Taylor, Mary Cunningham. Yoshi Kochuma, Martha Graham were actually, um, they, they were not just history, but they were part of it. And so a guy um, from, um, no, I don't know, black and white, or maybe better to say uh, red and white world, coming here and understanding that um, uh, the world around us is so much um, varied. There, there can be so many different versions of expressing yourself through art, that the that the and most most uh, importantly for me that the measure of artistic quality is not skillfulness or trained body. We're talking still about dance, um, but your message and um, the way you have originally uh, chosen the way to express your message in the measure is is the measure of uh, for an artist. And uh, today, uh, to this day, I have mainly, after that, worked with artists who have um, that message to, de to deliver. Not the truth, uh, but an idea, um, a new way of um, shedding light uh, to the world. I could not have discovered that without this first experience in America. Uh, the idea of how colorful uh, the world actually is. Um, this is also part, uh, when we started our, um, our projects then back in Estonia, we uh, opened Kanuti Gildisal, which is the, uh -huh, which this is how it looks like outside. It's an old, very old building um, in the very, very center of uh, old town, Tallinn, mid medieval town. Uh, that's, this was established in a way uh, that um, we knew that uh, this place, this building is um, uh, free. There was nobody, there were some uh, homeless people uh, living on the third floor, making open fire in the winter because it gets uh, very cold. So we, we understood that there is a possibility uh, to, um, to start to use the, uh, the building. And um, actually what, what really happened was that the, uh, back then, the, the community of uh, modern dance or contemporary dance, all 20 people <laughs> came together and we, we, we had to decide, like, okay, uh, are we taking it? There is no money, um, but uh, are we... Uh, are we I the, the city said that they could give us the building, but no money involved. Um, and um, after a three, four hour discussion, we decided that, okay, um, we will do it. Um, uh, and that's how it started now, 19 um, uh, years ago. Now uh, it looks inside, it looks like, uh, like this at the moment. Um, and from the beginning, everything was done um, um, by volunteers. Volunteers meaning either dancers, choreographers, or dance students. And by uh, by this day, um, 
all the, for example, the front door ticket, everything, this is done by the, uh, by uh, volunteers. Oh, uh, fortunately my time is over. I qu very quickly, very quickly show you a couple of other pictures. Uh, this uh, uh, is the same looking uh, for special performance. As you see, it has turned into a slide. And um, as many people here have today talked about the responsibility, I have uh, one, uh, one uh, very short uh, story to tell you about responsibility. Two weeks ago, a state theatre, uh, uh, a theatre which, which is supported 100% by the state ensemble theatre, in, in Estonia called Theatre Number no. 99, which is the most touring, uh, uh, internationally most touring theatre in Estonia. Uh, and the, the idea of the theatre was to do uh, 99 premieres in, and then end. Uh, two weeks ago, uh, when uh, they had more, uh, 30 more premieres to do and 14 years they had existed to do these 70 uh, productions, they decided to stop, to give uh, money back to the government, to give the building and the theatre space back to the, to the government uh, and say, next, uh, next guys can do it what they want. We don't have any more ideas. This is the responsibility of the artists. Thank you.